and a very good morning from beautiful Wengen, Switzerland. This is the view from Hotel Belvedere, where we spent the night so that today we could continue our trip. We are back in Wengen train station, where we finished last week's video. If you would like to see that video, the link is now in the top right corner of the screen, or you can search it on the day trip playlist on this channel. If you can do this trip in the low season, go for it, as it can be really crowded, especially in summer. And where are we going today? We will be going to Europe's highest railway station, Jungfraujoch. To get there, we can catch this train from Motorbrunnen or a train from Grindenwald, being both villages accessible by train from Interwaken. This is an Aerogosh Rack Railway, the only way a train is capable of climb percentages superior to 10% needed to get up these mountains is having that middle third rail. On a nice day as today, we can really enjoy the view, especially on the right side of the train, purposely built with these big panoramic windows so that we don't lose a minute of the natural beauty in front of us. In front of us, we now have the famous Eiger North Face to the left and the Monch to the right. And now the Jungfrau, and right in the middle, there's where our train is going Jungfrau Joch. After a well spent 20 minutes, we get to Klein Scheidegg where we change trains to a train from the Jungfrau Railway Company that is going to take us to the top in around 40 minutes. And here we go, let's start climbing. We enjoy the scenery and the green for the first part of the climb. And a little bit after entering the tunnel, we stop at the underground station of Eismir. We stop here for 5 minutes so that you can leave the train to go and check, well, I will leave the video do the talking. Mm -hmm. 
you are looking at the sea of ice directly from the east face of the Eiger. Strange place to find butterflies, don't you think? Soon afterwards, we get to the Jungfrau Joch train station, the highest train station in Europe. From the train station, you access the commercial area with restaurants, souvenir shops and even the highest post office in Europe, always with views like this. If you're not cold, you can go outside to the year-round snow, overlooking north up to Germany and to the south the Aletsch glacier, the largest glacier in the Alps with a length of 23 kilometers. From here we went back inside to catch an elevator up to the Sphinx, an international research station where you can enjoy an observation deck. This is an ultra-fast elevator climbing 108 meters in 25 seconds. It's well worth the climb as you have 360 degree views of the mountains around you. We decided to call it a day and went back to the train station to start our slow descent. I hope 
hope you enjoyed coming with us today and we'll leave you with some beautiful video captured on the way down. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It will mean the world to me. Thank you and I will see you next week. Goodbye!